Hello, my name is Maddie Weavy, and I'm going to be giving you a lesson on entomology. Well, more specifically on stag beetles, my favorite insect. So, I have this stag beetle with me, my plush stag beetle. Sorry, it's my cat. And so I'm going to be telling you the parts of this stag beetle, or the most common ones. So, this right here, when people see these big mandibles on a stag beetle, they're like, oh my god, can it bite? Does it hurt? Well, not really. I mean, most stag beetles will not pinch you for no reason. But stag beetles, the males, only the males have these mandibles, and they use these mandibles to lift up the other male and yank them up and throw them off of logs and trees so that they can compete for the love of a female stag beetle. And they also use these teeth to get extra grip if they have them teeth on the on the mandibles to get an extra grip and they also have claws on their feet that they use to stick onto onto surfaces and latch on so that they don't fall too easily that's why if you ever try to pick up a stag beetle it's going to be hard to take them off you've got to be really careful and so yeah these are the eyes they have compound eyes like most insects and they actually if you're wondering how they eat if they don't bite with these they don't eat meat they only eat um fruits so you can see on my shirt here this thing they use that thing it's called maxillate they use it to lick up liquids and fruits off the ground so yeah they don't bite they use that to kind of suck it off of the ground so they eat rotting fruit that's maybe fell from trees or yeah they eat sweet stuff mostly and a lot of people like just give them jelly with lots of nutrients if they want to keep them as a pet so yeah and also they have all beetles actually have these but these are the elytra of the beetle and they use they have a pair of wings under here so they lift open these elytra to it'll come up and their real wings will pop out these are the fly so beetles in general they rarely ever fly you'll only see them fly if they have nowhere else to go or if they're in an emergency situation like a predator. So they basically are tanks. They have this, just this extra coating layer to protect them from prey. So they're just really amazing animals. They have, they're just so cool and so cute. But yeah, this is my, that is my mini entomology lesson on stag beetles. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.